Hello, this is Yaakov Kronenberg from Jerusalem, and tonight the second class in a series of classes on how to interpret a horoscope. Um, the class tonight is going to be on the Ascendant. Uh, my teacher always used to say the Ascendant is 80% of the horoscope. And in the coming classes, we're going to start to see why. I mean, why is the Ascendant such a powerful, um, a powerful tool in astrology? Most people don't even know what it is, right? Most people who study astrology, they know the sun, the moon, the planets, maybe the, the signs, but nobody really, um, very few people really are tuned in to, to what the Ascendant is. And that's what this, this short class tonight is going to be about. What exactly is the Ascendant? Why did my teacher say the Ascendant is 80% of, of the horoscope? And, and um, the answer is simple, that the Ascendant is a receiver. The Ascendant is the point on the eastern horizon when the person is born. In Jewish astrology, the Ascendant is considered the most important point, uh, the most important part of the chart, and in, uh, to the astrologers who are in the know in Western astrology, and uh, even in Eastern astrology, the ascendant is the main point. It's the point where the, where the, the, the person receives all the aspects, all the uh, hashpa'a from Shemayim, all the uh, coming down of uh, sustenance from above, it all comes down through the ascendant. In other words, the ascendant takes all the other, all the planets in a person's chart, all the houses, all the signs that the different planets are in, all their aspects, and then it all comes through that ascendant, and they all express themselves through that ascendant. The ascendant takes those, all those influences that are coming from above and uses it in the way that the Ascendant is. If the Ascendant is Aquarius, it's going to take all that, everything that's going to come down from, uh, from heaven through this person's horoscope, and they're going to use it in an Aquarian way. If it comes down to an Ascendant in Pisces, uh, they're going to take all these influences and express it in a Piscean way. And so what you see in a person is his ascendant or her ascendant. You see the, the way they act. You see that sign that is on their ascendant because that's how they take all the different uh, things that are in a person's horoscope, the sun, the moon, Jupiter, Mars, all the different planets, all the different houses, and they're going to express it through what is called the ascendant. Uh, so that's a very, very important point. You have to realize that, that everybody is going to use, use all the, uh, their whole horoscope and express their horoscope according to what that is, ascendant is. So the ascendant becomes the focal point of the chart. When a person looks at you, what do they see? Uh, they see your ascendant. They see that the, the people will say, well, that's an Aquarian, that's a Piscean, and you can't see that in the sun or the moon. You don't see that on a person's behavior so much from the sun or moon. I'm going to close tonight with a story. My teacher, I don't know if people are old enough to remember, I'm a pretty old man already, uh, and I don't know if people remember, but once there used to be a famous television show in New York City, I think it was all over America, actually. It was produced maybe in New York, but it was all over America. It was called, What's My Line? And there they had used to have three famous personalities. I don't know if I even remember how it worked, but you had a panel of important people, well-known people, and they would bring a person on, and, uh, and these important people would ask that person questions, and then from those questions, they would try to figure out what his profession was. Now, I remember my teacher, at the same time, he was, he was the top uh, astrologer in New York City. All the big astrologers came to him to have their horoscope done. And uh, 
once they wanted to have a television show, uh, like a spin-off of the What's My Line, and they wanted to call it What's My Sign. And so my teacher, uh, he thought about it, but then, then he, he turned the offer down. Why? Because he said they wanted to, 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 to figure out what the sun sign of the person was. Uh, what uh, to figure out what the sun sign of the person was. And he said, you can't do that. The only thing you can, you can do is figure out the ascendant. You can look. You can ask questions, and then and look at the person. You can tell what their ascendant is, but you can't tell what their sun is or the moon. Uh, so he had to turn down the job. He said because most people don't know what their ascendant is. So it was irrelevant for a television show. But anyway, so that's again to show you the idea how important the ascendant is, and we'll be continuing uh, next time with another class. Thank you.